Hey guys and welcome back to another video and uh, today's video I'm going to do a Altium tutorial, Altium Designer 21. Um, so I just went through my playlist of Altium and I noticed I've ne actually never started out properly. I just went straight to ordering PCBs and creating your own Raspberry Pi shield but I actually never showed you guys how to actually start Altium, how to create a schematic, how to create a PCB. So I'm going to take a step back and start that again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to first download Altium and then how to create a project and um, what to look out for. And then later on, we'll look at schematics and PCBs in the next videos. So that's what this video is about. Just taking one step back and looking how to start with Altium Designer. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I think I get mixed up with Altium and KiCad sometimes. Um, where I am, but I made a list now and trying to get my heads right. But let's get started. Basic, simple, how to start Altium, how to start with Altium. So the first thing you have to do is go to our Plumpart YouTube channel and click the subscribe button somewhere. Uh, no, I'm joking, but yeah, please click it. Um, so I'm actually pretty bad at advertising my stuff. I just want to make videos for you guys and then I can actually forget to advertise what I have and stuff like that. So if you click on any video, um, like say Altium Designer 20, um, this is just how to make a pass shield. And at the bottom, you will see I've got a lot of yeah, tutorial links. And then I also have here download free Altium Designer. So this is for, if you're not a student, you can get it for six months free. If you're a student, you can actually get it for longer. Um, so they're trying to make it um, free for students to learn. So just click on this link. It does help us a channel, so I won't lie. We've got a Plumpot link. So click on it, and then you can just start um, going through this. Or your, your organization, I'm a student. And then you can fill in the stuff, and you can download it. So once you download and installed it, um, you will be able to open Altium Designer. And I'm going to speak about just things that you need to look out for. Um, so on the top right here is important, licenses. Uh, here you'll see your license if it's activated. So this is activated by me, um, as you can see there. And then you can release it and use it depending on computers. So what that means is on my laptop, I actually have Altium as well. So if I want to use it on my laptop, I just release it here. So it's not used on this PC. And then when I get to my laptop, I just push use and I will use it. So your license will only be for one computer. So don't forget to release it when you use it at PC and want to use it somewhere else. Another thing that's quite cool about Altium is extension and updates. Here you can see they've actually got a lot of tools that you can use. I will not go into too much detail about this, trying to keep it simple, but you can see like KiCad Importer and things like that. Um, these are just yeah, in software extensions to make life a bit easier in Altium. To start a project, we'll go File, New, Project. You can see you can also make a schematic PCB. Um, so a project will consist of those two. But let's start. I'll... And there you can see it will start a PCB project and save it somewhere that you remember. Um, busy Wizzing Bales. Start a new project. And there we go. So we say create. So once we add start a new project, uh, you'll see there's a design workspace. So design workspace will just consist of many projects. So you can save a design workspace and then underneath that will be your projects. So in this project, we don't have anything yet. So a project, a PCB project normally consists of a schematic and a PCB at least. So to do that, we right click on it. We say add new to project schematic. And there you can see a schematic popped up. So what I will do now is right click add new project PCB and we've got a PCB. What I would suggest is to make sure these names are the same names as your project. So what I normally do is I right click save as and will already be in my project folder and I'll say start new project and I just delete the back. And I do the same with this save as this is just to make sure that your projects and your everything just has the same name. It's easier to keep track of it in the future. So now you just made your a schematic and PCB as easy as that. So there's other documents you can also add to your PCB project. Um, it's not necessary at the beginning, but things like a bomb you can add. A draftsman will just show dimension of your PCB in a nice way. And schematic library and PCB library, we actually already made videos about that. That's what I meant, we kind of jumped the gun. So that is just creating your own schematic sheet and this is creating your own footprint. 
uh, that's quite good to know later on and then output job files also important later because that is where your gerbers are going to go uh, that is where your pick and place files go and things like that your door files the last important thing about your ultimate environment the project is the right hand side the properties tab this will always be on the right hand side, side right hand side most of the time and it's very handy to change settings that you need um, and this actually changes once you change this, the interface between your pcb and your schematic for example this is quite a big page a3 i want to make it a4 i can just do that over here and it will change um, your grids you can change things like that so in the pcb you'll see it changes now we're talking about your grids your edges your vertices i'll go in more details later i'm just trying to show you guys how our team actually changes its environment depending where you are in your project you can hide your title block if you want to you can change your title block if you want to so this is more generic in the real world we'll make a video how to edit and alter this as well but that's it that is the important part is the right hand side this is where your properties is and if you by chance lose it everything is at the bottom here panels and you can see all the properties and will come back and you can just move it so that's another thing that's very important the right hand side here you can see all the panels you want so your schematic filters we'll get to that as well messages uh, comments so the most important in the beginning is property and projects so your projects on the left hand side and your pro projects pro properties on the right hand side same with pcb now you'll see it changed so i get more things here so this is quite a nice tab to learn about the panel tab at the bottom right the last and not least about altium is they growing their community is quite big at the moment so you can see at your home page they even have videos and stuff how to do things so if you get tired of my videos there is a lot of videos out there also helping you guys with altium um, for example how to any manage your board shapes um, and you can see lots popping up, up here so once you install altium there's a lot of resources that you guys can use to learn they also have a lot of online events as well so they do do live teachings and things like that with people who start speaking So that's it guys thanks for joining this video was just showing you guys how to get ultimate designer um, so use my link below get the six six months free if you're not a student if you're a student you can get longer and also if you want it for even longer i think it's much much cheaper than the normal price um, i hope it was helpful so the next video i'll make is about the schematic and then the pcb sorry for not following order previously with altium I will, yeah it's an honest mistake uh, but I'm going to scale back a bit and start from the beginning with Altium Designer 2021. Have a fantastic day, guys. Until our next video. Bye.